What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another uh, what's known as a cat with two heads. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. That doesn't make any sense. But I appreciate it nonetheless. Welcome to another ranked draft. Not ranked draft. Regular draft. This pack is nice. We have a troll bread guardian, which is one of the stronger adapty boys. This guy you're probably never going to get multiple of. I didn't get to boast about this sub option. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, don't even worry. <laughs> it's okay. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And then we have Aeromunculus and a Law Mage's Binding and an Orzov Enforcer, which has a D-Touch. And then we got a Growth Chamber Guardian. <clears throat> um, so this, this is still a 2-2 that becomes a 4-4 four four on turn 3. And, you know, it's not impossible to just open another one. It's not impossible. I'm going to take it. Oh, a Sunder Shaman and an Aeromunculus. This is going to... This is Oh, and a Thrash Threat. Actually, Thrash Threat's probably better than Sunder Shaman. Being able to just fight a thing and make a 4-4 is pretty strong. I'm going to take that. Also, we can play the first half in a, a, any green deck. Well, I see. I see. Could just be Gruul's Guildgate. I'm not super high on... They're fine, but I'd rather be able to use the threat half of, of, of Thrash Threat. Tentacle monsters again? Why are they all tentacle? Because is it because of this guy? These are these are claws, buddy. These are claw monsters, not tentacle monsters. I don't care about Lizrog. I think it's either Arrestor's Ammunition or Gruel Guildgate. I'm probably gonna just take the Guildgate here. And now we're gonna take Rhythm of the Wild. And uh We're gonna be grateful that we stayed the course. Rampaging Renhorn is pretty nice. So is Chillbringer. But I don't think we need to branch into blue here. Just for that guy. Uh, I do like Skitter Eel, though. Hmm. I do like Skitter Eel. You know what else I like? Nothing as much as Skitter Eel, that's for sure. Reclamation, not... Not ideal and limited. If they could ban three cards in standard, I would say Curious Obsession, Wilderness Reclamation, and Nexus of Fate. However, I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm not sure Reclamation's that bad once you get rid of Nexus of Fate. Uh, Combat Trick is pretty fine. Steeple Creeper? Okay. I mean, the thing about Creeper is that if we do get, like, an off color. Uh... Wow, that's a late Orzov Enforcer. <clears throat> if we do get a late, like, Simic Guildgate or something, we can just splash it. We're also not necessarily... We still only have two red cards. We're still not necessarily red here. Reclamation came back. Saratok is nice. A second rhythm? Oh, God. Is second rhythm better than Saratok? Probably. Wait, I love Eldrazi with your tentacles, and I also love Simic. Tentacles. More tentacles! <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just Rhythm of the Wild here. Oh, Beastmaster with triple with triple riot? Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Uh, I don't like this because we can't actually kick it. It is a two two for two that lets you lets you loot though, which actually isn't terrible. What is this? It's not really rhythm of the night. It's called hentai. <laughs> I have no idea what that clip was, but all it was was Stanley saying, it's called hentai. And that's pretty much... <laughs> it's, 
That's pretty much all I need to see. All right, so it's either this two drop or this two drop. I actually think the Reveler is better. And if we, again, if we get a little splashy, then we're good, right? Oh, a Scorch Mark is nice. Scorch Mark is a card I don't see enough. However, I think with Double Rhythm, we're pretty much locked into Gruel here. But we do have, <clears throat> there's a Chillbringer here. I think it's just Scorch Mark. I'm going to put these two in the side, Bizzle. We could take the Simic Guild. Actually, Rubber Watt Recluse is pretty good. We have a lot of five drops here. I like it better than Clamor Shaman, I think. Maybe? Actually, Clamor Shaman's probably better, right? <clears throat> oh, see, now we're talking. Now we got Carnival Carnage. Another card that really takes advantage of a Gruel Guild Gate if we stumble upon one. Or, you know, multiple Gruel Guild Gates, whatever. Uh, I don't mind having one Wrecking Beast. And there's another Recluse, which is nice. All right. So everything's coming together here. Ramping your Renhorned. Sure. Tower defense? Sure. That's a really solid trick. How many of these goblins do I have? Just one right now? I guess I've been passing up the other ones. Um, Savage Smash? Yeah, we can take a Savage Smash. I, I, I could take a Blood Crypt. It would help fix for uh, <clears throat> Carnival Carnage and for Rick's Mad-Eye Reveler, but I don't think we care about that. I'd rather just have the Savage Smash. Bullwreck. Also, two Guild Gates that help. How many? We have three five drops right now. But with double rhythm, this is actually pretty good because of all the counters we can amass. Let's take Robot Runner. I like three threes for three. I think they're. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this guy's actually pretty good. I think he does. He does some work. Swirling Torrent. Oh man, that's one of my favorite cards. We only have one guild gate though, so I think we're just going to take the uh, territorial boar and play him if nothing else comes up. Gruel guild gate, sure. Mammoth spider is nice. Probably not better than any of the other five drops we have, so I'll just put it on the sideboard. But it is nice to have against the blue decks. This is playable. <laughs> Marginally, but... I don't know what the point of this. I guess this is a spectacle card, right? <clears throat> Can't be blocked except by Crucible Defender. Uh, consign is fine. I think this deck's actually fine. I don't think we have a ton of removal, which is a little suspect, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think is this exact? Eight, ten, so yeah, this is all right. Hmm, interesting. We might just keep one swamp. No, I don't think swamp one swamp is good. I also don't think Carnival Carnage is great in our deck. I'd almost rather have the, the locket because we have a bunch of five drops. I think that's probably better. So we can seven, eight. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Yeah, I think this is good. <clears throat> Creatures are 16. Perfect amount. We have Double Rhythm, Savage Smash, and Thrash. Savage Smash and Thrash. Alright, let's see if this Gruel deck actually does anything. We got the Pinecone, boys. Deck is complete. <clears throat> um, this hand's pretty slow, but they're on the play. I can keep this. It's got all the lands we ever want, so.
<clears throat> Alright, well. Here comes a 3 2. Exactly what we said. Oh, right on time. Now watch, we're not gonna hit a fifth land. Here we go. Here we go. It's okay, we can do it. Okay, we hit the fifth land. <clears throat> and we're just gonna play this guy. Steel yeah, Legion, thank you for this for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Preach. That's what rhythm is. Keeping on. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Are you thinking of tempo? I feel like you're thinking of tempo. I hope you don't play anything. That'd be gas. I'm probably gonna get some, get some Chipotle after this. Oh, ho, ho. oh! I'm gonna play my oligarch. <clears throat> you know what, buddy? Sure. Did what I had to. Okay, that's fair. I accept that. I, I can understand working within limitations. Oh, all right. Getting aggressive. So we can play rhythm and smash. No, we can't. We can play gruel locket and smash. The problem is both of these are dealing us one a turn. Have <laughs> I drafted a heavy? Yeah, we've drafted multiple heavy. Like, it's pretty hard not to. Like, I mean, if you open high alert, you just take it and it's pretty easy to do. I mean, we've also done like 40 drafts, so. Um, yeah, if we're going to smash, we might as well play the locket here. <clears throat> this costs an extra mana each turn to use, but this one deals them damage as well, so... I don't know. Okay, so one, two, we have six mana. We can play <clears throat> Rhythm and Steeple Creeper or just keep up. I think we're just playing Rhythm, Steeple Creeper. That's a 6 4, good buddy. they double block here, I think it's fine. Oh, they're just single blocking. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, we're going to trade here. But we're going to take one, two, three. Yeah. This gives reach, though, so. I don't know. is terrible. Oh, uh, let's bring in Mammoth Spider. It's just a big idiot. <clears throat> Should 
Should we play uh, one island? Nah, one island seems pretty suspect. It's possible. I don't think it's a terrible decision. Look, if you put the mouse just right, it just has a stroke. How can a card be terrible and simultaneously win the game? Well, you see, Large Brandon. <clears throat> Allow me to explain. Ancient Stirring, what card are you referring to? Oh, wow, I thought this was the 3-4 four for 4 instead of the 7 drop, so that's, that's worse. Yep, now we have nothing to do. So now they can attack us, then play this for 2. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Oh, Macabre Mockery? Yeah. <clears throat> Card's pretty rough. I mean, if they have no creatures in the graveyard, their creatures are all terrible. It's just, you don't, it's like it doesn't do anything. I mean, I just don't know how we win against, like, board full of death touch guys along with Theater of Horrors. I mean, <clears throat> either this guy deals us infinite damage and they just get free cards for the rest of the game. They could also, like, if we if we just let them deal two, like, they get to play Carnage for free, which is pretty brutal, because we have two cards. So. I'm surprised they didn't also attack with this guy to get in points, and then you can get rid of my last two cards. But, you know. It's just like they have <clears throat> infinite creatures that uh, get through and can't be blocked, so. Or with Death Touch, rather, so. Yeah, I mean, draw an extra card every turn is pretty good. <sighs> I don't think there's anything in the deck that actually helps us win here. Like, they just have too many death touch guys. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight lands. There's a perfect situation for that card. <clears throat> perfect situation for that card.
I think one of the biggest problems with the Gruul deck is that it just doesn't have any flying creatures. What's your favorite viewer submitted deck deck in 2018? I have no idea. That's a good question, though. I like that question. I just... Uh, it's kind of hard to recall all the ones that did in 2018. Uh, do we have the draft? Not after this, no. I have to go get food. I actually don't want to activate this, because if we draw two spells, then we get stuck with them in our hand. And then they can just play Carnal Carnival Carnage and kill it. The, the cards, that is. What's your favorite of all time? Oh boy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. <clears throat> yeah, we're definitely dead here, right? Like, they sack this, put us to seven. They can sack this, put us to three. We block the two biggest guys. Yeah, that's game. You know, good times. was on Mike's birthday, so that doesn't narrow it down at all. Thank you. C money with the sub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. play anything we got a scorch mark for it play that three two floaty boy and whatever okay <clears throat> seems good oh we can give renhorn haste and attack for like 10 next turn pretty good good lord you can see the game it doesn't need to go on the stack just do it <laughs> oh man can you just concede the game don't put it on i was actually saying please play humongulus so that our guys can both survive <clears throat> let's give haste so now you're taking seven that's pretty gas Yeah, there's sometimes when I concede and then, like, the opponent still gets to attack and, like, do a bunch of things afterwards, and I'm just like, but why? But the why? Oh, the color control deck was great. The color deck, colors control deck was great. I really enjoyed that a lot. Do they attack? It's fascinatingly aggressive. MTG Pyro with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Almost a year. Almost a whole year of good times. Shut up and take my money. So we're playing this next turn. Badger, nearly halfway through the month and the run is looking a bit low. We can't have Frank homeless now, can we? I'm actually thinking of going to um, to Seattle for the Comic-Con for ECC with uh, with my buddy Kerwit. <clears throat> and um, I may actually change the, the Seattle, the, the April rent goal to that. Just to make it, just because April's so far off. Badger, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are, un, you know, 
unbelievably generous, as always. But um, I, I want to play this 4-4 just because we're not going to have time to adapt to this guy next turn. And I think just putting another 4-4 on the board is pretty nice, especially if we're going to play Wrecking Beast as a 6-6. Six, six. So they could block one of the 4-4s four and then 6 and 4 get through and they go to 1 theoretically. Okay, well, double humongulous. So now I assume they block both of our... I can't imagine they double block one of these guys and go to go to one here. Well, Taunus is already in Seattle, so Taunus would be there for sure. Wow, the triple humongulus deck. Okay. If we give this guy haste, do they go block, block, block? And then they take three. Or two, I guess. But they can't not block. They can't block this guy, right? They can't they could go block, block. I guess they could go block and take four and go to one. But what they can't do. But next turn they have to individually block all of these guys. Wow, this is a lot of humunguluses. Oh, we can actually just make this a 4 4. <clears throat> yeah, this is actually much better. I forgot we can adapt. The sub goal isn't changing with resubs, the sub goal is changing with, with new subs. I'll decline. Oh, they just they just die. Okay. Does this guy have trample? I actually don't know if this guy has trample. Does this guy have trample? That might have made a difference. I think it does. It does. Wow, they were dead. What a time to be alive. Okay, we need one red. One green, rather. Still gonna keep this hand. Mox Boarding House is great. I agree with you. Okay, well. That was a good game. <laughs> but it was not GG, it was BG. You guys ready for some from for some for some stream eye drops? You guys ready for that? I'll play first. I will keep this hand. Okay, well nothing came out there, so that was awkward. Let's try again. Got it that time. Okay, we did it. <clears throat> a little bit of great me and a little of the old eyeballs. <laughs> oh, Lord. Alright, whatever. You got it. So... I 
I don't think I want to trade here. This guy keeps it at bay for quite a bit. Keep dropping those eyes. I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. RPG Badger, is your middle name start with a P? Is that why it's RPG Badger? Because I just thought it was RPG like a role playing. Like I thought it was RPG as in like, you know, the game. We got five drops of plenty in our deck, so. <laughs> it's okay, I was under no impression that I was the coolest person on the internet, so. This feels like a no attack turn. I don't think we're gonna profitably get in there. Well, that sure is sad. Seems good. Seems good. Oh, boy. You're doing nothing but watching Twitch and he doesn't notice. <laughs> How are you doing, Josh? Oh, I'm doing good. Thanks. Oh, Badger, you said nearly half of the other mountain rent is like alone. This is actually April April rent. We're actually ahead on the other rent. Yeah, now we're just gonna block here. Well, they have three cards. We have three lands, so. Oh, bounce your guy in response. Final payment. No, you don't have a bill blank up. I wonder if we can draw a Ravager Worm. That'd be pretty sick. They have zero instants and sorcerers in their graveyard. I guess that in the way they hit eight mana, this guy's just a just a five five. Just phenomenal. Just fantastic. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they just play land. Activate. Potender. And this is where we're bringing in the Mammoth Spider again. <clears throat> we do have only 17 lands, right? Okay. All right. Well, that's cute. I feel like you've been flooded for like six games. I feel like my entire MTG Arena experience has been flooded. Take out the Wrecking Boy. Bring out the Spooter. God, this hand is bad. Maybe not. Maybe dagger caster is good. <clears throat> Remember that? That's not true. Remember all those times you were starved? Yeah. Well, you know what they say. When there's a flood, it looks like Frank draws. Yeah, that's that is usually the saying, isn't it? Shut up and take my money. 
Hey, I'm a long time lurker here. Figured I would show love. Keep up the great. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Sea money. Thank you, buddy. Can we draw a mountain? Is that possible? I don't personally think so, but let's let's find out. That's a good one. <gasps> well, I'll be. I'm actually going to kill this now. We have nothing to do with mana. I don't want them to have a fourth mana next turn if we don't have to. And we could wait till they like try to activate it. But if they don't try to activate it... Oh, now we got Dagger Caster for this little idiot. Little idiot. Little idiot. Little idiot. Little idiot. I channeled the Heart of the Mountains. That's how we got that mountain off the top. It's your favorite. It comes to the... Yeah, that's true. Mountain, I need you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why didn't they play that? Oh, they're going to play it next turn? Oh yeah, we're definitely saving. That's not the that's not what we wanted to see. No attacks. Oh yes. Oh yes. Are you guys ready? Woo! This is how we do it. We came in like Wrecking Ball that turn. Tap this guy down. Like you do. No, well, fashion late to the party, but still. But still. Three, six. I don't think this is a great turn to attack. Like, if they double block here, this isn't going to save it. It's just going to kill one, so. It might be good with these guys, though. But then they just 3-3 three, three on 2-3. Three, it forces us to use the thing. Yeah, we can wait. That is a thing, isn't it? Decline. That's actually pretty sweet. So now we can actually use the ability we can also double block here. No attacks. Warm up that soup. I don't even understand the soup meme anymore. Oh, wow. That's fascinating. Okay, well. So this guy has exalted now. So it gets it's five damage. Okay. So if we made the boar, they have two blockers. They go block here. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they're dead. I legit am eating soup right now. It's so hot. I just got out of the gym. I don't know why I'm eating hot soup. This is all. This is a good, a good question you're asking yourself. So you block here, you take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You have to block the 4, 4. You take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then we gift of strength, and you have no cards in hand. So get out of here, you little guy. What? I was like, mm, mm. 
Not what you want to do, but all right. Boom. Boom. Boom goes the die. Do we have anything that kills artifacts? I don't think so. What's an artifact? <sighs> I kind of want the consign just because it is a way to deal. We don't want any black splashies, but... I guess it's fine like this. A way to kill artifacts in green-red? Surely you jest. I mean, I think there's ways to kill artifacts, right? I will keep this hand. It's a little slow, but we have a nice, a nice removal 4-4 combination. I actually don't hate this here because we can discard one of these excess lands, which is nice. Well, you know, we're, we're one step closer to not having to draw that, I guess. Silver linings, am I right? Do I block this guy? Probably not. Got it. No attacks. Yeah, deface feels pretty bad. What is deface? It's like a destroy a creature, an artifact or a creature with defender. Is that what it does? Because it would get or like a get rid of a wall. Yeah. Okay. So you're like defacing the wall, basically, is the. This is a lot of oh my god, just let's draw draw the dagger guy. Just let me just kill both of these guys in one shot. Thirteen of eighteen lands in the top twenty cards of my deck in eternal. Yikes. Yikes. I came in like a wrecking ball. I feel like if we offer them the trade, they're just going to take it. So maybe it's worth... I think we can just play Recluse here. But like, what are the odds we hit? I think we're just going to attack with the, the Rick's Mad Eye Reveler here. Yeah, this is fine. No, not you. This guy. Like, I feel like our board's actually pretty good here. Oh, it's old Bowley McRackerson, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Actually, if they quadruple block here, it's pretty okay because we get to 
trample over for like a million. So next time we can play 5 drop and keep up mana for Gift of Strength and we can uh, give this guy a counter and shoot one of the floaty boys if we need to. Tap down here, my five, my six five. Okay, okay. They are getting aggressive here, but I guess we are at eight. Oh well, that's pretty good. So all these guys fly, so we can just play spider and block. But if they have a removal spell, they have three, four, five, six, seven. We go to one. It's pretty bad. I like having gift here so we can block two things. Bully McRackerson. I think I went to high school with that guy. Yeah. Whatever happened to that guy? I think he works in the steel mill now. I think he got his, uh, he got his GED and he works in the, he, he works in the steel factory. You know, like you do. Alright, well, they have decisions. Don't care about that. Pass. Pass? Oh, we got a we got a reprieve here. Okay, well, this guy's got to get in there, and he does not have trample, unfortunately. We could leave a counter on this guy and just shoot like a bird. Could be good. Make a five five. I don't think we're at a point where extra 4 for it actually does much. Okay, why would you do that? No, these guys are staying home. Four. It's actually fine. Okay. Uh, let's get a counter. End the turn. So we have two flying blockers. Three ground blockers. So if they bounce a guy, we can go block, block, we take three. Significantly better. If we block one, we only take five. That's pretty good. That's pretty good.
pass. Mm, pass. I'm tempted to shoot them. I don't think it does anything. I might just get rid of this guy. We can just wait. Mm, it's actually pretty okay. I mean, we'll definitely double block this. Oh, 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 oh. actually, we get to, uh... I hate having to use this gift of strength and only just trading with this guy. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, well, that was fascinating. That was not what I was expecting. Hmm. Okay, I think we made it. Savage Smash. Ooh, so we can pump this guy and Savage Smash and then hope they don't have Frilled Mystic. <laughs> They're pretty bad. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So... <laughs> Are we again in a position where like all of our guys are just super strong here? Like they have four blockers. We will have six attackers. They have three cards they've just been sitting on this whole time. I like this because it puts us in a position where this guy is uh, going to trade with the Gate Colossus if it resolves. I'm, I'm reluctant to do anything too crazy because their hand is full of three cards. <laughs> That's annoying. Yeah, this is another reason. They just gained, like, a million life. We have six mana. That's still, like, oh, it's, I hate that it's off. But I think we're okay with flyers at this point. Sure. Alright. Okay, they don't have quench, obviously, or else they would have quenched these things. Doubt they have the other counter spell. I don't think they have counter spells in hand. They just, it doesn't seem like they're. What should the draft boys order for dinner? Uh, Thai food. Pad Thai sounds pretty good. Okay, this is actually nice because uh, they don't have any mana up, so. Oh boy, this game is grindy, dude. It's a game three, too. I think we're just dead. Are we just alpha here? They block here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is it. This is my. This is why I'm getting tired of it, and I feel like they're gonna win this game if if we uh, if we wait any longer. Okay, that's fine. Like I think they're gonna lose a bunch of dudes here, so. We can deal with 14 damage here. That's really sad. Like, this is a trade. That's okay. This is a trade. This is just not blocking anything? That's fascinating.
Is the Colossus not blocking anything? Okay, well. I might just give the strength there to trade. Triple blocking this guy? Wow. Okay, so hold on. What's getting through? Just these two. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, nope, that's not gonna do it. Okay, so I think we I kinda want to take out these two. Nah, it's probably just the five five, right? This guy has one damage on him, sure. Okay, hold on. Activate. Target plate unit. Target you. Remove one one counter from you. Submit. Yeah, I think that's fine. So now we're both at eight and our board is a lot deadlier. I mean, they can attack for three, put us to five. I would have rather killed the veteran instead of this because it gives them two blockers and three power, but I actually didn't even consider bull racking after that. So they have to block, if they block two of these, they're dead. They could let these two get through, but they still have to block two. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna one here? That's pretty interesting. If that was a frilled mystic, they could have just countered this, attack for five, and then we're dead. I mean, right now they have to have some pretty decent cards to be able to get rid of this and deal us an extra three points. I guess, like, bounce spell plus, plus three plus three does it, but what a big show. Um, do I want to lose to a random combat trick when we have three lethal creatures on board? I'd rather have three lethal creatures on board. Hmm. That is also a lethal creature. <laughs> this is where they go root snare and I just cry. Ooh, should have played around Root Snare. We had no reason not to. They had one blocker. We could attack with three guys. Maybe four guys. All right, well, we are at least two wins. At least two one right now, so not the worst. The Urchai, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I will keep this hand. This hand is nice. He plays Root Snare Unlimited. I mean, 
if you're attempting to win through the air, like, it's definitely a fine. Like, you're just like, oh, you're going to alpha with your ground guys. I'll play Root Snare. Attack you for 12 in the air. Root Snare, attack you for 12 in the air. I mean, it's not... If you're going overhead... Oh, that's just a rude. I'm pretty sure a 5-5 five five next turn is just fine. Alright, my nates and pretenders, I'm out of here. Josh, have a good night, buddy. Nine, you. That's half your life. This is not a reasonable card in limited, but okay. That is what's known as just fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's still open beta. Is it okay with deck lists? If so, is there a preferred format site to use? Just looking for a little feedback. No. Yeah, there's no no just post away. Knock yourself out. Appreciate you asking. Okay, so we can play this. Pump this guy. And then like you're trading with one. I guess it You're gonna block here, chump block here, take five. So you're going to go block here, block here, take five. That seems fine. Um, against this deck, I have no idea. Probably nothing. I think we're good. Our deck is sweet. Despite our loss. Alright, we're trying to lose or win in the next half an hour so I can go to Publix and get... and Chipotle and get food. Uh, keep. Nice. I was actually hoping for that because it makes the rest of our hands so much better. Oh my god, unbelievably better. Oh, they're missing a green. That's fascinating. It's nice to know when you're playing against red, green, and limited that they'll have no way to deal with this whatsoever. Chipublix? <laughs> Popotle? Okay, well, they're doing alright. I wasn't getting Ty. I was recommending Ty for uh, the Draft Boys tonight. Quite, quite a different. I don't mind. I wouldn't mind getting tie. However, um, we're gonna save this and this for a turn. We have something to discard. For now, we'll just make it three four. Yep, I'll just take three. We're at 13 already, though, so, you know. Third 
That's actually pretty good. We get to eat the 2 1 and we get to just. Oh man, that's great. No attacks. No attacks. Next time. I would love some Thai. The, there's a vegan Thai restaurant really close to me that closes at like 7 or 8. It closes super early, but otherwise I would go there way more frequently. Oh yeah, Frank Talk Tie. Frank Talk Talk real good. That's a little meet the parents there. Yep, this is what I assumed was happening. I think they just need a card. So we're gonna take three here, presumably, and be able to trade with one of these. Let's see how this works out. Oh, quite well. Literal two for none so far. Okay. So we can play both of these next turn. That's pretty good. We're getting to a point where we're not too afraid of this guy, but they're like also missing green here, which is pretty relevant. Yep. That's fine. Actually, we got five mana, so we can play both of these and discard the forest. That actually seems fine. attacks maybe attacks double block here block it block here double block here yeah it's fine long time youtube worker one time first time on stream i assume you mean unless you're like one time on stream this is all you get you just get one time So we're gonna go block you and then double block this my dude. So it's fine, we're trading this guy and then this guy gets to two for one. And they're dead on board, like by a lot. There we go, finally hit that green source. Nine damage and any creature is just lethal, sure. Three one. Three one, alright. Still looking to beat this thing before before it's too late to go get food. One time, come on. I don't love it, but I'll keep it. The guild gates are kind of convincing because they let us play everything. Yip, 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 What is that from? What is that from? Is not like an internet thing? Uh, 
have a little piece of pie for your wife. Bring my buggy. No, that was just rude. So now I got four drop, five drop, seven drop. All right. Oh yes, there we go. Yep, 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 yep. yep. You are correct. You are correct. I don't love it, but I'll keep it. Super Princess Mom. Wow. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, look at that, Judith. Wow, both of these creatures that trade with my guy. Because of your rare. That's pretty good. That is pretty, 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 pretty good. That's very good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's a lot. That's pretty good. Well, we might be dead. No blocks. We block here. We take six. Yeah, that's going to be the end. Wow, Judith's a hell of a card. This might be a root, a root, root snag, root snare. Snagging and snare. And root snare matchup? I don't know. Carnival actually seems good with the plague, plague white, plague white, right? Somebody type something else. I'm getting depressed. Oh my god. Oh yeah, Snapperino. The question is, do we wait to play the boar post rhythm? Maybe. Maybe. M -m -m maybe. I think the answer is no. The problem is like if they play a turn two white and then we go turn three rhythm, they get to attack and then also play like a, a three mana uh, spectacle card, which they did not do at all. Okay, I feel like we're way ahead right now. Those plague yokes, too much cholesterol, wow. Gutter bones. That is the first time I've ever attacked with this as a 3 3 of vigilance. Never happened before.
Three, four, five. I think we're done here. FH tag N, what is that? Favorite man, man, what are you saying right now? Oh, guys, one four four. What problem is? When was the last time you and Swole Mike went dancing? It's been a while. Wow, this hand is rough. What was the command? I don't even remember what that command was. Was that the Cthulhu command? I'll keep it. That's nice. Now we're talking. <laughs> yeah okay it was the elder god command fantastic alright well we're definitely killing that guy with the scorch mark give another piece of pie to your wife green black boogie Clammy McShammy. Um, yep. This guy into this guy. And then we just hope we don't die. Oh my god, please stop playing things. Actually, that's that's interesting because now we can play this guy. And kill this. Which I kinda like better than just playing uh 4-4 because getting rid of this guy is really powerful. Plus this guy trades with everybody on board anyway, so. The reason I don't like sideboarding in one goblin gathering is because they have the, they have we saw two of the two ones that give neg one neg one when they're blocked. That is a fine trade. <laughs> All right, well. Oh my god. So they just make me sacrifice this guy. Maybe not. Probably. That's worse. I roll. make this a 2-2 haste. Yep, they do. Wow. That is aggressive.
really? You get to deal one extra point here? Fascinating. So this is actually 10 damage, unfortunately. Get another piece of wine. I don't think you needed a seventh land, so I actually feel like that's okay for us. Okay, well, that was interesting. Lucky, 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 lucky. Hey, you're a rare that destroys the land and deals two damage, and then you have an extra three damage in hand. Amazing. All right, three, two. Not bad. And now I can go get food. Let's open our packs and see how many. Let's see how many. I'm going to say 100. I'm going to say 100, 100 gems. There's 20. Ready? Let's find out. 40. 60. Oh boy. 80. Oh yeah, 100. There's 100. Maybe one mythic? One mythic? 120 gems. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And ideally, you will go to Twitch and you will follow me or you'll subscribe there. And you can help me out as a content creator on the internet. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time I said that.